Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the TIGWELD 200EX and some of the welds that we can make with it. Today we're going to make a T-joint out of two pieces of 1 quarter inch 6061 T6 aluminum. And if it has a T-joint, it should have a weld symbol that looks like this, a fillet weld on the arrow side. Today we're going to use 332nd 4043 filler. I set the AC frequency to 60. I set the maximum amperage to 140 amps AC. I set the base current or background to 70 amps. I set the pulse width or percent on time to 60%. And I set the pulse frequency for two pulses per second. So once the material got warmed up, we started to move down the joint trying to keep a constant travel speed and keeping an eye on the puddle and adding just enough filler to keep it full. We want to make sure that we keep the tip of the rod and the stream of the gas and keep the tungsten down as close as possible to give us the best penetration and the most compact and narrow bead. So it's important that we proceed down the joint and be careful not to touch the tungsten, especially on aluminum. If we touch the tungsten, you're going to get a big black mark. Real easy to see that it's happened. And if we don't stop and clean it up, we'll continue to get a dark mark. So continue on down the joint. And there's what you get after the first pass. So for the second pass, I operated on the lower toe using that as the center line for the next weld. So the first pass goes into the corner, second pass is on the lower edge. I'm going to keep that full. And then you're going to see here a picture of the second weld. So that tied in real well. And then the third pass is going to go along that upper edge, burning away the edge of the second weld and also the edge of the first weld, consuming that in the puddle, and then adding additional filler metal to fill in that void. Once again, watching the lower side of the puddle that it ties into the second weld, and the upper side of the puddle that it ties in well to the upper plate, and doesn't have any undercut or underfill. Also, Right at the very end, we want to add in just enough filler metal to fill in the puddle and then slowly taper off. So there's the finished weld. Thanks a lot for spending your day with us, and we hope to see you again real soon.